Hello, dear friends. Welcome to Daily Prayers at 6 o'clock program. We're here together to harmonize together, to align ourselves with the higher spirits. We are here to, you know, get us involved in positive energies. And this week, we definitely need it, don't we? So let us together start by reading a message from the book, The Way, The Truth, and The Life. It was psychographed by Chico Xavier by the Spirit Emmanuel. And we're going to go to the very last chapter in the book, chapter 180. And it says, let us shine our light. So let your light shine among men, Jesus. In comparison with the glory of the evolved worlds, the sublime spheres that fill the universe, the narrow area in which we live is certainly a limited circle of action. But if we were merely a matter of physical space, we would have nothing to complain about. The small, humble house joyfully illuminated by the sun is a paradise of happiness. The anguish on our plane comes from darkness. Darkness has invaded every path in every direction. Darkness born from ignorance, wickedness, and foolishness, enveloping nations, institutions, and individuals. A fog that assails consciences, minds, and sentiments. In the midst of this long night, we need to kindle our light. Otherwise, it is impossible to find the way to freedom. Without the shining radiations from our own being, we cannot be seen very easily by the divine messengers who lend aid in the name of the Almighty, nor can we effectively help anyone, whoever that might be. It is indispensable to organize our inner sanctuary and illuminate it so that the darkness does not overcome us. It is possible to progress by using other people's light, but without our own, we are in constant danger of stumbling. The owners of the lighted lamps may go a different way than ours, summoned by lofty mountains that we do not yet deserve. Therefore, take advantage of the sources of light along the way. Use the wick of goodwill, the oil of service and humility, and kindle your torch for the journey ahead. Thank those who light your way for an hour, for a few days, or for many years, but do not neglect your own lamp if you do not want to slide off the road and down a cliff. The fundamental issue of redemption, my friend, is not limited to spoken or written words. It is very easy to make wonderful speeches and give excellent information while remaining blind ourselves. Our basic need is our own light, our inner enlightenment, our self-education, and the real conversion of the self to the kingdom of God. You can speak marvelously about life. You can argue brilliantly about the faith. You can teach the values of belief and eat the bread of consolation. You can exalt peace, gather the flowers of the good, and enjoy the fruits of other people's generosity. You can win the ephemeral crown of easy praise and accumulate various titles that adorn you as you transverse the valleys of the world. All this can, in fact, be done by the spirit that tarries indefinitely on certain spots along the way. However, it is impossible to advance without light. Friends, I would recommend if you have the book, read it again. It is such an amazing chapter that, you know, teaches us that there's only one way for us 
to get out of darkness. And when we're talking darkness and we're talking evil, it is the lack of light, right? The lack of knowledge. That is how we all come and we progress and we progress together to the point that, you know, we see the light and we can be light. We can be shining lights wherever we be, wherever we are in our small circles. If everybody was being light, we wouldn't have what's happening in our planet. Um, unfortunately, what we've seen this week in the United States and it's still happening. So it is up to me, to you, to everyone to shine your light. You want to contribute? Do you want to help? Do you want to change the world? Let it shine. Jesus is calling us. Let it shine. Let us be positive. Let us make this change. It is time. It's actually too late. So no more. This is our moment of change. Let us keep this feeling of we can do something about it. Jesus is telling us we can. We can be light. And let us use that for our prayer, vibrating beautiful, beautiful light, irradiating from wherever you are. Okay? So I'm going to put some music because it helps us. Let us close our eyes. <sighs> Visualizing ourselves irradiating beautiful, bright, golden light. Imagine this light surrounding your body, making you feel calm, protected. And this light expands, it keeps expanding bigger and bigger and bigger, occupying the room where you are located and spreading through the hallways, reaching all the rooms of your house, reaching your family members. This light is so powerful that is expanding so much that is now leaving your house, expanding to the streets, reaching your neighbor's house, going in their house, making them feel safe, protected, revitalized. This light comes directly from Jesus. Jesus is pure light, pure love towards each one of us. It doesn't matter race, gender, ethnicity, religion, none of that. Just love directly from his sacred heart. Dear loving master, as we see darkness in our planet, we think of you as you are pure love, non-judgmental love, Love that let us fly without any attachments. A love that is non-materialistic. Supreme love. We are filled this week with sadness. As we feel for the people that are involved in turbulations in their life in situations that are disadvantages. But let us not confuse sadness 
with losing hope. We sustain positive vibrations filled with hope because we know that wherever there is light, you will be there with us. We are holding hands together in this and the best we can do is to be peacemakers as you showed us when you faced earthly trials when you, you were here. We pray, Master Jesus, that we maintain serenity to face adversities as harsh as they can be. And we want to dedicate this prayer, especially for George Floyd. We pray that he is received in the spiritual realm by your loving arms, by the spirit doctors, nurses, that he is able to heal wounds in his heart that we know might be there. That through his example, we learn our lesson and we are able to demonstrate that we can be better humans. Loving Master, we ask for your support, for your guidance always, in these moments and forever. And with your permission, with your blessing and protection, we would like to close this session, and so be it. Friends, apologies. <laughs> uh, this is a very um, special moment for us during this daily prayer. I hope you remain in positive vibrations, because that's how we can contribute with the higher spheres. Let us not, you know, fall into the traps of losing faith, because that won't take us anywhere. So let your light, your light shine, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.